Okay, if you got this kind of orbit, um, looks like I already showed you how to do the other one. If, you, if you're looking at the other kind, just go to my other video. But this is the one for this one. And they look like they're all contained, so you just got to pry them open with a little screwdriver. And uh, just take a little screwdriver and, and put it in a couple spots, like I put it in right here. You just pry it just a little bit. You can see, once you get it out, uh, there's little tangs right here that hold it in. Okay, they're all over the place. You see them here? Okay, they're all around the place. So you just want to pry them a little bit and get them off those tangs. That's what holds it together and, and keeps it and keeps it uh, tight. So anyway, when the, what happens is when these things start leaking is during the winter, if you let it put water in it, it'll break open right here. It's the same as on the other kind. Okay, they're all the same. It just freezes a little bit and then it pops this open. And so these are threads and they're threaded into the white thing is threaded into the black thing. Because it has all these wires and stuff on it though, you got to be real careful not to screw with it. Okay, so you just want to you want to pick it up in your hand carefully. Hold on to the white thing, which they don't give you a lot of room. There's like an eighth inch piece of white here. There's hardly anything. But anyway, grab a hold of it with a pair of pliers and untwist it. Just like you're unscrewing it. Even though the threads are screwed up, it doesn't hurt it. Okay, just unscrew it and then screw it back in. It'll be all tight again and you're done. Okay, it literally seals itself and everything. So you don't have to worry about Teflon tape or anything else. You just unscrew it, pop it back in. So I can't really show you the process, but I'm going to tell you. You're going to get a pair of pliers like this, grab a hold of the white thing carefully because you only got a little bit of room here, and grab a hold of it, and then you'll, you want to just hold it tight with the pliers, and with your hand, just unscrew the uh, black thing, uh, okay, and then it, it'll unscrew perfectly, then it'll just screw right back in. You just want to hold the white thing still, though, because you got all these wires and stuff. Okay, these wires are all connected. And uh, you can't really do anything with them or you'll screw it all up. It's very thin wires. So you don't want to be moving it around too much. So just pull it out of there carefully. Hold on to it. And unscrew the black thing. And as soon as the threads, you'll, you'll see the threads. They'll unscrew. Then all of a sudden you'll screw the black thing back in. Set it right back in place. Pop the thing together and you're good to go. Okay, I do this every year. Uh, my water, for whatever reason, the water gets in there and freezes up uh, during the winter. When I go to use it in the spring again, it's got the same effect. So... Um, it doesn't happen to everyone, but when it happens, this is how you fix them without having to buy new stuff. All right. There you go. If you have any questions, put them down below. Okay. Literally two seconds and I'm back in business. Okay. Just grab the hold of the white thing. Hold it. Hold it. it just pulled it out. It just pulled, pops right out of this uh, system. So it pulls out of the plastic here. Just pull the whole thing out without moving it too much. Grab a hold of the white thing. Unscrew the left thing, the black thing with your hand. And then screw it right back in and then set it back in place. Uh, pop it back into this um, gray unit and then turn around and put this thing right back on and you're in business. Okay?